For Dr. James Likens, the recipient of this year's Herb Wegner Lifetime Achievement Award, two words summarize his credit union career as well as his whole life, head and heart. During his extensive teaching career at Pomona College and Western CUNA Management School, his varied roles as consultant, lobbyist, mentor, activist, and trustee, Jim Likens has passionately dispensed wisdom from his head and compassion from his heart. The result has been a multifaceted career with a profound impact on the credit union landscape that has helped foster generations of credit union professionals. Jim's heart, his passion for credit unions and what they represent, is the result of the life-changing impact these unique financial institutions have had on his own family. Jim's parents were dust bowlers, part of the Grapes of Wrath exodus from the Midwest to California during the Great Depression. Like Steinbeck's Joad clan, the Likens family experienced extreme hard times, including living in a tent at a government work camp while Jim's father worked as a field hand. They paid their bills by cash or by money order. And like thousands of other families, they were easy prey for finance companies and fringe financial service providers. Their lives were changed when the Likens family discovered they were eligible to join Kern School's Federal Credit Union. They opened their first share account in their mid-40s and soon after bought their first new car. Several months before the death of his father in 2003, Jim learned that his dad had willed a $90,000 CD at Kern School's Federal Credit Union to him and his two sisters. For Jim, the fact that his father, an orphan with an eighth grade education, could accumulate that amount of money in his lifetime formed the bedrock for his belief in credit unions. Through his parents' nurturing, Jim's heart and passion had been developed, but now he had to look within himself to develop his head. Jim received an impressive array of academic degrees, including a BA in economics and an MBA in management from the University of California at Berkeley, and a PhD in economics from the University of Minnesota. He landed a position as an economics professor at the prestigious Pomona College in 1969. Three years later, he was invited to teach a two-week summer conference for credit union management students at a place called CUNA District 4 School. In 1975, he was asked to begin directing the school, which is today called the Western CUNA Management School. In the years to come, it would be his experience outside the classroom that would shape much of his teaching and make him an invaluable resource to his students and the credit union movement as a whole. In 1978, Jim was asked to join the board of his credit union, Los Angeles County Employees No. 11 Federal Credit Union, now known as First City Credit Union. His acute knowledge of economic matters was called into play. He urged his board to implore the NCUA to lift the 6% ceiling on shares and to urge Congress to amend the 1934 Credit Union Act by lifting the 12% usury ceiling on loans. The move was opposed by the House Banking Committee, but ultimately proved successful. This would be the first of many instances when Jim would apply his knowledge of economics to real-world initiatives. During his tenure on the board at First City, Jim sometimes found himself in a position where his financial knowledge was met with skepticism by regulators and staff. But as previous experiences taught him, if you know in your heart and in your head that you're right, you should never give up. Jim's knowledge of credit unions allowed him to help guide his organization through a variety of rocky times. Today, Jim's work as a consultant gives many credit unions the opportunity to benefit from his experience. He's been involved with dozens of credit unions to help them find strategic focus, make effective long-range plans for the future, and improve the interaction between managers and volunteers. Jim has worn many hats over the years, but it is his work at Western CUNA Management School that he considers his most significant achievement. 
For over 30 years, he has been at the helm of the Executive Development Program. He has created a culture that embraces high academic standards and the credit union philosophy. He has championed his head and heart philosophy of thinking and feeling, intellect and passion. He has also made it clear to his students that they must lend a hand by contributing to the system and by engaging in actions to help others. He finds it deeply satisfying to know that WCMS has enhanced the careers of thousands of credit union professionals and advanced the management of their credit unions. Jim views the school as a work in progress. What began as a fledgling school in 1972 with an enrollment of just over 100 students now boasts enrollment from this past summer of 400 with a third year class of 122 graduates. Every year, Jim introduces new courses, tries new ideas, and even helps start new traditions. By living a life that reflects the people helping people philosophy, he has become a better person. And his reward? He finds that by serving others, he usually gets back more than he is given. Jim Likens is among a handful of national leaders over the past 30 years who can be credited with professionalizing and protecting the credit union movement. As a speaker, expert witness, consultant, Western Kingdom Management School Dean, and First City Board Chairman, Jim stands with the most revered credit union pioneers. He has influenced the thinking of thousands of credit union managers and executives, and his contributions can be found in virtually every credit union. All of us have been touched by Jim's warmth, intellect, and humor especially as humor. As my mentor for the past 10 years, Jim has helped me to broaden my perspective and sharpen my focus. We're glad that you made Credit Unions your life's work, Jim. Congratulations and thanks for sharing your gifts with all of us. Over the years, Jim has won many prestigious awards and is consistently recognized as an outstanding leader in the credit union movement. In 1989, he was named by Pomona College to an endowed chair in August 1990, Western CUNA Management School's Alumni Association created an award in his name to honor a student who has made significant contributions to the credit union movement following graduation from WCMS. And finally, his achievements have been recognized by the California Credit Union League and the Credit Union Executive Society. From humble beginnings where heart was all he had, Jim has developed an intellect to match, and in so doing, became a powerful role model for the industry and the nation. Truly a remarkable career. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pride and sincere appreciation that the National Credit Union Foundation honors Dr. James D. Likens as this year's recipient of the Herb Wagner Memorial Award for Lifetime Achievement.